Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a beautiful 1952 3100. This is not your ordinary build. This is a no expense spared creation by Miranda Built. This has a Roadster Shop chassis, LT4 power plant, RPM level seven, 4L80E transmission, 513 gears, and wait till you see the underside. You are going to be blown away. Today, we're gonna give you guys a comprehensive walk around jump in it, take it for a test drive, and let you decide if you want to put this in your collection. Let's do it. I don't really know where to start with this one because there are so many custom attributes. We're gonna start off with the front fascia. So the front fascia looks factory. So if you have a close-up shot of this, you're gonna be like, okay, it's a 52 3100. Grill has been painted to match, beautiful blue metallic. Bumpers are pulled in, and then I love the attention to detail. So all of the rear sections are linexed, and that's gonna protect it from any sort of rock chips, et cetera. And it also looks really, really good. Passenger side is to die for. All the vents look good. The paint is even throughout. This is easily a nine and a half out of 10 all day. You're rolling on American forces with 37 by 1350 tires. This only has 1000 miles on the total restoration. All of your body lines and gaps are even. And as I look at every inch of this truck, you're gonna see a lot of custom attributes. So you have these beautiful mirrors that have been Frenched in, all billet. When you open up the door, you ready? That's right, easy to get in. The interior is to die for, we'll go over that later on. You do have uh, the material that they use on boats, so it's a sea deck style material, and it just flows with the whole entire design of this truck. I can see the Roaster Shop chassis peering through the center of this vehicle right here, and when you look underneath it, it's to die for. I want you guys to click on the link below, and or we can showcase some beautiful shots of it right now when we're taking the pictures. So it has a Curry uh, nine inch front and rear, 513 gears. Tires have 987 miles on them. This has been tried and tested. So this is not something that was just put together and essentially thrown for sale. This has never been listed for sale. This has never been seen in public. This is ready for a true collector that wants to show it and win a lot of trophies. I'm gonna turn this thing around right now so you guys can see the driver's side and then we'll pop the hood, show you the bed and let you decide if you wanna put this in your collection. Let me start it up and rotate it. I like doing this so you guys can see how it starts up and also moves in a parking lot. You won't hear any noises or creaks because this is essentially a brand new chassis underneath. You have bump stops, you have coilovers on all four corners, you have diff coolers, the list goes on. When I start this up, all of my gauges are operating Oh my God, that LT4. Steering wheel is wrapped in the same leather as the interior. You have a Rockford Fosgate stereo, and then you have your dual case transfer case controls right here. Headliner is Alcantara. We're gonna go over that more when we get inside. Oh, you hear that? I'm gonna back it up now so you guys get the other side. It does have an upgraded converter. There we go, that looks better. Horn works, lights are amazing, upgraded lights, 991 miles on the odometer. Every function in here works, including the air because it is super hot here in Florida today. Let me get out and talk about the driver's side. Door closes properly, wheels and tires just really set this car apart. They painted the little accents inside of here to match the body and I love that. When you look in the wheel wells, you can eat off of the wheel wells. You have your coilover set up here, your bump stops, your curry, rear, uh, curry front end and rear end. And then you have Willwood six piston calipers front and rear. You do have a heavy duty uh, steering box right there. Coilovers look excellent and you have the ability to adjust them if you'd like to. It's set at the perfect height, I think. You have the hideaway steps here and then you also have the C deck that flows from the front all the way to the rear. There are no rock chips. Bed has only been used for sitting and a lot of the features that I'm looking at when I see a Miranda built truck, you don't notice the first time you look at it. So the releases for the tailgate, when I show you that, you're gonna be blown away. It also has a little storage box here in case you guys are gonna go to a car show or show it. 
You could put some pamphlets in there, etc. This is truly a one of a kind build. I love the lights in the back here. I think you should bring the camera back here so I can show it to you. Now that you've joined us in the rear, you can see how beautiful this section is. You do have your gas fill right here, very easy to access, and it's put together properly. No rubbing, no banging. You do have a trailer hitch, so if you want to tow at this, this motor will definitely do that. The 4L80E will pull anything you want to put behind it within reason. LED tail lights that I was talking about earlier, and when I look underneath here, you're going to see the fuel cell and those six piston rear brakes, curry rear end, the list goes on. Trick feature is going to be the little latches right here that you can pull on both ends after you release the pressure and it allows you to fold this down. See uh, C deck throughout and it's just beautiful. There's no imperfections here. You do have line X on the whole entire side sections and then you have the, the actual floor that is that foam material that just really flows throughout. Glass is in excellent condition. All your rubbers are very nice. And when I show you the interior, we'll get some really nice panning shots of the inner door sections, all of the new hardware throughout. This is an exceptional build, and this is gonna really complement someone's collection. Closing it is easy. Just release these, pull them back, and that's it. Let me pop the hood. We may as well pop the hood. Hey, pop the hood. Pop the hood? Pop the hood. To open the hood, you're gonna release right here, and then there's a small lever you're gonna pull back, and it is going to reveal an LT4 power plant. This is a GM crate motor, 640 horsepower. You do have a custom intake. The satin finishes just break this metallic blue apart. We're gonna have the actual paint coat in the listing below. The strut bar here, to strengthen everything is just beautiful. I've never seen one done like this. All of your components, the alternator, the, the inlet tube for the supercharger, all painted in a satin gray to match the frame. Top tier build, all stainless components throughout. We have a Ron Davis radiator right here that was built specifically for this truck. All of your release tubes have been bent, hand bent. This is not like a rubber line that's going down. Vibrant performance, hoses throughout, so there are no clamps. Everything has been sealed, essentially, in place. You do have a really nice uh, blower here for the radiator uh, and for the condenser. And my favorite part about this Ron Davis design are the flaps in the rear. So that's gonna allow the airflow to stay in there until you're moving. And then the flaps will actually open up. Um, I don't know what else to say. This is, this is a dream truck. Let's take a look at the interior together. So you have your power step that's gonna come down. Leather is extremely nice, perforated. Your door cards match, and I love how they have the perforated sections here with the carpet on the bottom. All of the handles operate as they should. Windows go up and down with ease. Look at all of the hardware here. Everything has been replaced. All the rubbers are brand new. And if you look inside this hole, you're gonna see how nice all of the construction was for the restoration of this truck. It's just beautiful. I'm gonna jump inside real quick and show you the interior. I'm gonna start it up so I can have some cold air rolling while we're doing this because it's 88 degrees today. Starts up easily. You have your vintage air controls right here, so you can lower your settings. Your light controls are operated on the top half, and look at how beautiful this windscreen is. You have Alcantara throughout. All of your bright screws are showing, so they're all been, they've all been polished. All the screws around the door edges are very nice, and you can listen to that engine. It's just, oh. Glove box right here, which is locked right now. You do have your dual range transfer case, and please take a look at the photos below or the images that we have on the link below, it'll have underside shots, over 50 shots of the underside, along with every single component of this vehicle. You do have a Rockford Fosgate stereo, which you could just turn on right here. And then there are speakers throughout. So there's speakers that are built in behind the seats, I believe. Hold on, I'll see if I can show you. So you have two uh, kicker punch speakers back here in a custom box. Look at how nice it is. It's not like they just did it so you can see the exterior and it looks good. Every single inch of this truck has been done properly. All the panels are done well. You have your subwoofers there. You have your speaker speakers hidden underneath these uh, little pods and the air condition is blowing ice cold. Steering wheel shows well, it's very easy to drive. Let's jump in it and take it for a test drive. All right, we're gonna take the 52 3100 out for a test drive so you can see it go through all the gears. Roadster shop chassis, so you do have the best of both worlds. 
Level 7 transmission. Feels good. Brakes are very even. Oh my gosh, it sounds really, really, really good. Alcantara roof, which looks beautiful. All of your gauges are operating, showing our temperature right now at 174, 992 miles on it as of this test drive. You have a dual range transfer case as well. No rubbing. I love all the accents throughout, so the, the actual rear view mirror. I love the accented light back here, so you'll see that earlier in the video, or you've already seen it. Lights work and lights look great. The vintage air. It's nice because it's super hot today. Today is actually the, the eclipse, so it might be a little bit more dark out there. I heard that we have a 40% coverage. We're getting on to Marina Mile right now, and we're gonna go over the bridge, do a little turnaround, and let you guys see it rolling down the road. Oh, this thing is awesome. Easy to drive, especially with, the, with how big it is. Steering wheel is very comfortable. Right now I have the windows up uh, and it seals nicely. Brakes are working as they should. Listen to the supercharger. Oh yes. right now no cabin noise this does have an amazing rocker Fosgate stereo that sounds unbelievable Bluetooth two subwoofers in the back we're gonna do our u-turn here and then uh, normally I do the spirited test drive if it's a muscle car this is a muscle truck 650 horsepower out of a crate motor and I know this probably has more power than uh, than actually listed on the GM website It's actually surprisingly fun to drive. We're gonna turn here. You can hear the turn signal indicator. Oh, this is a BA truck. Badass. Listen to it. signature bumps so you can actually see how the rebound is for the suspension it's actually very nice over corners it's nice and tight here comes the first set of bumps not bad at all going over the big dip no issues Hope you guys enjoyed this test drive. If you have any questions, give us a call, 954-363-2261. I'm out of here.